So now we're starting to look at subtraction of rational expressions, or, or addition for that matter, in which the denominators are not necessarily like denominators. Now sometimes, as in, is in this case, it's an easy fix to get like denominators. Uh, other times, as you'll see, we'll have to uh, factor and then multiply each one, uh, just like we would a fraction, by whatever it's missing in the denominator to, in order to get a like denominator. Now right now, if you'll notice, uh, one is just the opposite of the other. We have y squared minus 4, and we have 4 minus y squared. Uh, and the example you saw in the lesson, they took and they multiplied the numerator and denominator by negative 1. I'm going to make the process just a little bit simpler. We have y squared minus 5y over y squared minus 4. Minus, now we have 6y minus 6 over, and I'm just going to factor out a negative 1 from the denominator. So this is negative 1 times y squared minus 4. Now when I do that, when I factor out that negative, that means that we actually have y squared minus 5y over y squared minus 4. Now when we have a negative, whether it's in the numerator or the denominator that's factored out, uh, we can put that before the entire uh, fraction. In other words, a over negative b equals negative a over b. And what that means is that we have minus a negative, which just becomes plus a positive. So we have plus 6y minus 6 over y squared minus 4. And now we can just combine, we can add the numerators because we have the like denominators. So y squared minus 5y plus 6y minus 6, and that's all over y squared minus 4. Now if you're more comfortable doing it the way that the, uh, that the example did that you saw in the lesson, uh, you could multiply the top and bottom by negative, uh, by negative 1. That's going to give you the like denominator, and then you're going to have minus 6y plus 6, but we're still going to have subtraction. So that this basically just skips a step in that process. When we have minus a negative, that becomes plus a positive. And again, we can do that because of this relationship up here. So now combining like terms, we end up with y squared plus y minus 6 over y squared minus 4. And now we factor the numerator and denominator. y squared plus y minus 6, that is y plus 3 times y minus 2, because we want two values that multiply to negative 6 that add to 1. And then in the denominator, we have a difference of squares, which means we have y minus 2 times y plus 2. The y minus 2's cancel, and we end up with y plus 3 over y plus 2. And remember to note that since we have uh, y squared minus 4 in the denominator, that means y cannot equal negative 2, and y cannot equal 2. Because if we did, then our denominators would end up being 0, or our denominator, either 1, y squared minus 4, or 4 minus y squared. Uh, either way, negative 2 or 2 would yield a denominator of 0.